Prime Minister Modi and I first met at the G20 Summit in Brisbane. And this is his first visit to Canada as Prime Minister. C'est en fait la première visite bilatérale exclusive au Canada d'un premier ministre indien depuis plus de 40 ans. Monsieur le Premier ministre, au nom du gouvernement du Canada et de tous les Canadiens et Canadiennes, je vous souhaite la bienvenue dans notre pays. Prime Minister, you are very much among friends here. And your visit is a testament to the strong friendship between Canada and India, and an objective our government has been keenly pursuing since we first came to office. Far be it from me to uh, comment on your domestic politics. However, may I say that the priorities of your government, growth and job creation, infrastructure investment, and the development of a stable, predictable business environment, including lower taxes and job creators for job creators, mirrors our own priorities here in Canada. So does your slogan, minimum government, maximum governance. And our experience suggests that such priorities are effective in raising the incomes of large numbers of people. We believe all these economic objectives will also be served by the negotiations that we are pursuing, specifically the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement and the Foreign Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement. This is, of course, a growing relationship. Our two-way merchandise trade is today worth nearly $6.5 billion. However, both Prime Minister Modi and I believe it could be worth many billions more. The untapped trade potential between our countries is enormous. Canada has what India needs and vice versa. To that end, I'm pleased to note that Cameco will supply Saskatchewan uranium for India's atomic energy program over the next five years. And I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Premier Brad Wall and Tim Geitzel, President and CEO of Cameco, on this great announcement. Prime Minister and I are also celebrating the signing of a range of agreements, as you just noticed, including cooperation on civil aviation and space, rail transportation, skills development, and higher education, among others. We are the inheritors of similar institutions, traditions, and values, with passionate commitments to democracy and pluralism. Such commonalities as these alone would make us friends, but we also share people, and that, Prime Minister, makes us increasingly like family. Today, roughly 1.2 million Canadians can trace their roots to India. This community has not only achieved great success here, but has also brought its rich culture, its festivals, films, architecture, religious, and sporting life. We are encouraging closer people-to-people -people links through the reforms our government has made and continues to make to our immigration system, notably the program CanPlus in India, so that those from India who wish to live, work, and study in Canada are increasingly able to do so. Canada is ready to deepen cooperation with India in science, education, defense, and space technology. Over these next few days, Prime Minister, it will be my honor to host you here and particularly to introduce you to the Indo-Canadian community, to many of the people who are building the even stronger personal and business ties between our two countries.